bucks is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family thank you for walking and you know on your true path trying to put peace and understanding to the madness that, that occurs on a daily basis so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video um if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two if you are like i said if you're comfortable i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you um if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend, family or friend or even a fellow empath that are really going through some dark times experiencing dark times and they need confirmation and validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose and you feel like the video to be good for them please go ahead and share also give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to this beautiful beautiful uh, meditation it's called awaken your inner genius activating higher self meditation spiritual awakening and healing music and i'll post that link in the description box below and my video today is like twin flame 101 hey okas become the master of your life not the masters of your pain we shouldn't we should not have to be you know like toned down like to we got pain down to a t you know it's just like a lot of times things we have to experience just for us to be awakened um that's the reason why there's the purpose of spiritual awakening so i just like why do we have to go through this just for you to tell me what this is you know what what's going on in my life spiritually you know like spiritually gifted and it's like if they just tapped you on your shoulder and said this this is this person would you actually believe it would you actually take time out to actually venture that no you wouldn't because it's like pain makes you stay focused on trying to heal in so many different ways you know at least for me you know i don't know how pain you know others deal with their pain you know they can deal with it therapeutically they can deal with it abusively or they can just stay pessimistic towards everything that happens in their life you know i used to be that person like everything happened to me for this and everything is happening to me and all this is happening to me and this and this and that being very pessimistic and um not really you know like i said all up in my feelings you know not really seeing what that pain was trying to bring towards me and a lot of times like i tell people either you can face it or the universe makes you face it but if the universe makes you face it trust and believe you ain't gonna want that to happen and i said please take heed on what i'm telling you because if universe make you deal with it it's gonna it's gonna probably make your life feel like it's crumbling really crumbling because a lot of people don't take heed from the signs that they're being sent you know through their dreams through their visions through their meditations they're trying to tell you pay attention to the signs that we're sending you love yourself be able to let the negative go be able to let the past go and there's a lot of times it's hard to do that you know it's just like it took me a while because i'm like god you're telling me to allow this to go my family did this and this and this and that to me and that is not fair you know this no life wasn't supposed to be fair yes they did this to you but you got so many daggone blessings that are coming into your life which one you rather carry around the things that keep you happy or the things that keep you on a low frequency you got to think about that long and hard it shouldn't have to be that you know it shouldn't have to be that way but it's just like you can't be able to not take the bitter with the sweet you know what i'm saying um you can be able to yeah look at you like i told y'all before being being beautifully scarred yeah we're beautifully scarred all of us got you know mental and emotional and sexual scars that tell a, a story that a lot of people are not aware of you never know what my story is you never know what their what story somebody can impact you with to make you look at your life in a totally different way and you know and you need to be able to do that because it's like you deserve to be happy you deserve to be the master of your life to be able to bring forth manifest a lot of beautiful things that you want in your life to better yourself better your surrounding better your children you know others around you 
you you deserve that in your life it's like you know we're not supposed you know i tell a lot of people to stop carrying your pain on your sleeve like that Try, stop showing everybody what you've been through surprise us with the things you've been through you know people be looking at me like what you talking about you know and copping an attitude i see you walking around like you pissed off at the world you know if i can sit up here and tell you what i went through you'll be surprised on the things that i've been through because a lot of times you know if you push me in that corner that's when you see that queen bee come out you know but other than that, I'm the joke, joking person. You know, I have you cracking up laughing. Y'all even know I be saying some crazy stuff in my videos. I even come out with crazy metaphors. You know, um, the fact is all the things that went on my way, people will be surprised the way I, because I keep everything, you know, I like to see people laughing. I like to see you joke, you know, laughing and being happy other than being sad. And I'm just like, yes, this sucks. We had to go through. But look at all the beautiful things that are coming towards your way. If you can just let those things go. And I had to be able to tell myself that each and every day. You have beautiful things coming into your life. But what's more important? You just keep on trying to hold the sign up of what about what people did to you. Because it's just like, yeah, I can, excuse me, I can keep telling people and preaching to people about what my family did. But why do that? You know, I can use it as an example. I said, I'm not going to get into, you know, details about what these folks did to me. If you want to know, <laughs> just look on the other videos that I've talked about the situations with. But pretty much, you know, when people work their hardest to try to make you look bad, pretty soon it's going to catch up with them and it's going to tell on their self. You know, I had, you know, family does that a lot, a lot to me. They have people looking at me like I'm crazy or, you know, wanting people to believe them. So, you know, they'll put me in a bad light. And it's just like, you know, common sense tell you, they just trying to work their hardest for you to see me in a bad way. People that love you, they don't do stuff like that. They don't. That's something, some, some, somebody seriously, like mentally hurt, you know, you know, spiritually hurt. If they got to constantly keep putting you in that bad light. Yes, they did these things to me, but yes, they also allowed me to get my strength, take my power back. You know, you can't do, there is nothing you can do to me that, that can penetrate my, me. There's nothing. You know, I had to constantly say that there's nothing you can do to penetrate me because I'm not, you're not even my life. You know, things, you know, and I said not to be messed up, but it's like things can occur in your life that, you know, one of y'all get wiped off of this earth. I'll just pray for y'all, but it's not going to mentally mess me up at all because I've just, you know, connect, disconnected myself. Not the fact that I'm numb. It's like you are just a part of my life that, you know, that you, you really put you set things in motion for me so it's just like being able to allow myself to open up and not be ashamed of the things that I, i've had occur in my life in the past i'm not ashamed of those things nobody has you know a perfect past your past isn't what you are now unless you're still doing the things you were doing in your past which i'm not you know i can use my 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 negative situation like i said I don't have my cards repossessed. I don't have been evicted out of my homes. I don't had some damn overdraft bank accounts. You know, I had to rob Peter to pay Paul. You know, I had to, you know, jump. You know, like Kevin Hart said, I don't had to put something out of my credit, my savings into my, you know, where everything set up, and I had to take things out of my savings to cover my my set, my checking and this and this and that. You know, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like uh, uh, this is the person that's made me. You know, I had to go through these trying situations, but when you have children and you, you know, you're a single parent, you're willing to do anything and sacrifice anything. The only thing I've never did is prostituted myself. Never did that. I hustled, you know, I danced, but I never prostituted myself. That's the only one thing I didn't do. And, you know, I, I said, I'm proud of those things because that's what the sacrifices you do to take care of your children. I did what I could do, you know, and I did what I had to do. But being able to open up and tell people that they'll let you know you're not ashamed because a lot of people ain't going to get up here and tell you about the, their past because they're so ashamed of it. Why should I do that? Because if I ever become famous, people going to go digging for that already as it is. And when things come out, they'll be like, Dad, well, Rosalind already told us that. I ain't got nothing to hide. I really don't. You know, the only thing you'll probably see is like a, a mug shot. You're like, oh, dang, yeah, she did tell us about that. And I'll be something. I'm like, what can somebody say about me? And I ain't already said about myself. Okay, I'll wait. I will wait, you know, because it's like my, I'm proud of the things that I did because I'm no longer my past. I don't have a substance abuse problem. People are like, oh, yeah, she used to get high. Yeah, for weed. There wasn't nothing else. I used to pill pop back in the day just to deal with my pain. And I had high anxiety. Yes, I did. I no longer do that. The only thing I'll probably take is a maximum strength pain reliever. 
bam, that's it. <laughs> or Tylenol. Other than that, I'll deal with it. You know, I don't have time for all those things because it's like I've healed in so many different ways. I don't have to have a, a stimulant to allow me to cover that. Like, now my emotionally eat, that's probably the only thing I have that I'm addicted to. It's food. <laughs> food. That is it. But going through those things, I can be able to say it, it has strengthened me in so many different ways. I never thought I would be able to have. You know, I used to dream about myself being that way. Or I'll allow people to dictate my happiness, allowing them to, you know, say this is how much happiness do you deserve. I ain't going to allow nobody to do that to me either. You know, I deserve, I, I, I take my key back because nobody's not going to take the key to my happiness. Even though I might not have everything to make me happy, I got what money can't buy to make me happy those are the things that are important you know because a lot of people feel like oh yeah you have all this money much money and much money my father was a millionaire and he wasn't happy about everything because he wasn't able to have his children in his life he wasn't able to experience being a parent yeah, you can haul, have all the fortune and fame in the world, but that doesn't make somebody truly happy. Yeah, it keeps you well off, like if you need anything, you can buy it. But if, when it comes to that love that you wanted to share with somebody else, he wasn't capable of doing that. Now, that's a sad situation. When, you, when you're in a situation, wish you had all the love you can have, but you just didn't have the financial gain. It's like, you know, he, me and him were totally opposite. But we both wanted the same thing when it came to love, being able to share that love with somebody else that you weren't able to do that with. So it's just like you have to be that master of that person dictates how much happiness you have. And I tell anybody, you should not put limitations on your happiness. You should not put any limitations on the challenges that come occurs in your life. You should, you know, challenge your limitations. That's what you should do. You know, challenge your happiness because it's like, happiness is not something that has a financial status for it that's why it's just like a lot of people i even deleted off of my my um my facebook because it's like they're always showing off things that money can buy and i'm just like is this what your life consists of because it's like you can be a miserable person while you just flaunting all these little fancy trips and all these little fancy cars and these big houses and stuff like that you can tell show somebody as in a way like okay if you do these things and you have blessings that occur in your life you can use that as an example for a platform like hey if you want to manifest these and these things this and this and that things look at the things i was able to manifest and work hard for then that's different but when you just showing off just to be showing off that lets me think that you're shallow you know and it's like hey i'm happy for you but this is it seems like this is all you talk about you know, and I, I just had to get people on my, my page when they did that because I was just like, dang, this is, seems like you're always trying to one up people or you want people to be jealous of you. That's what I had to deal with my family. Them folks did that all the time. They wanted to constantly show things. And then when got mad, when something come up missing, I said, that's what you get for showing off everything because you wanted people to get jealous of you. Now they were jealous enough to, of you that they stole from you. And that's what your ass get. You know, and I used to tell them that. Don't sit up here and brag about things God can kindly take away. And that was what it was to them. You know, I had money always dangling in my face. Always looked, they always kept on saying, oh, this is what I got. And this, I bragged and got this. I'm just like, you are shallow and you're very materialistic. You know, they used to hate it when I say that, but it was, you, 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 Ace, Ace calling the spade a spade. So it is what it is. You know, real recognized real until fake walked in the room and they didn't like it when I called them fake. So <laughs> you have to do what you got to do, but never allow people to have to dictate how much happiness you have in your life. You should never dictate how much happiness you have in your life because you deserve to have the moon and the stars and everything, especially if you work hard for it and it's been snatched away from you so long. So allow yourself to be able to enjoy life, the little time you do have here. And it shouldn't be based on the money that you have that comes in your life, but it's just, you know, things that doesn't have a price tag on it. Or even if you get blessed with money or whatever, don't allow that to rule your life. You know, if there's things that you want to manifest in your life, who doesn't want money in their life? Who wouldn't want to live comfortable? And that's not the point I'm not trying to take. But I'm just saying, you know, don't use certain situations just to allow people to be jealous of you. You know, just being able to say, you know, yes, you worked hard for these things and those are truly a blessing to help people, other people to get manifest these things. If you're using that, for example, that's, that's you know, that's good to do that. But allow yourself to be happy, no matter what.
So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. It's almost 15 minutes long, so I'm not even going to go into the shout outs and stuff like that. So you already know, like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, drop me a line. You know, let me know your, your emphasis on it, and I'll see you in my next video. Much love, peace. Be wild.